Hello, Shop Foot fans. Here's Coach coming back at you. Um, we're going to analyze the rotational shot technique uh, today. Um, what we'd like to do is to obviously give you a, a really good snapshot look at, obviously, one of the best throws in the world last year, um, the Olympic champion, uh, the new Olympic record holder, Ryan Krauser from the United States of America. So I'm just going to play out the, the, the his throw, and then I'll come back and then I'll slow things down and we'll kind of illustrate some of the main points of, of a successful throw. Okay, so let's roll the, the tape here. Now, Ryan really is um, an, an, <laughs> a great physical athlete. Um, he stands at oh, just over two meters. That's six uh, feet, seven inches tall. He's 274 pounds. And at the time of this throw, he was just 23 years old. He's 24 now in 2017. But uh, he, if he continues on his current track, he's going to have an absolutely wonderful career if he stays, uh, if he stays healthy. So that's a wonderful throw on the fifth round at 22 meters 52. So let's go uh, back and have a look at and slow things down for you. And, and kind of point out some of the main points of his of his throw to to kind of help the uh, the young throwers um, kind of look at different aspects of a successful throw. Okay, so here we go. So uh, Ryan, in this case here, uh, is kind of moving along here. Let's move it along. So I'm gonna I'm, like I said, I'm gonna pause at different aspects of his throw here. So I'm just gonna back it up here just a little bit to his starting point. Um, and so from right here, uh, he's uh, in a really good power position. So let's have a look at his load position. So what I mean by that is you'll notice his, the start is ever, in any throwing event, how you start really sets a routine for the rest of the throw. And it's a really important aspect, especially in the rotational shot. Um, so let's have a look at a couple of points here. Number one is, uh, look, he's, he's about shoulder width apart through through the throw here um, you can see uh, depending on your stature and height um, you want to be slightly more than shoulder width apart you'll notice that um, he's uh, initiated uh, slightly a right turn for the right-handed thrower from the back of the circle which creates this closed position you notice he uses his arm here it's a very very good uh, starting point for a lot of young throwers too and that closes you off what do I mean by that when close you off well, it kind of prevents the upper body from turning prematurely during the beginning of the throw, okay? Because you want the lower body to initiate first, and then the upper body comes second, right? So let's keep going. Now, what else does, is Ryan doing here really, really well? I want to pay particular attention to the, uh, his uh, left foot here. And his left foot is on the ball of his foot, and this really helps initiate the uh, turning uh, and the speed of his throw. So what he's going to do, he's going to turn, stay on the ball of his foot, and make his turn with the response of the knee uh, following his uh, the response to the foot. So let's let's have a look at it um, as he kind of moves forward through the throw here. As you can see here, as he makes his turn, you can see it on the ball of his foot. He's making his turn. But what happens now? What what uh, what helps initiate the speed of the throw? Well, he really has a, a beautiful uh, on the ball of foot turn here. But you'll notice that swinging right leg. Um, he's going to come out wide and then he's going to come drop it right back in here in the center. And that creates a fair amount of momentum. Um, uh, you know, angular uh, speed towards the center of the circle, just like a figure skater will come out wide and come in tight, will increase the speed. So watch him as he makes that that, that turn as he comes around here. Look at that, that, that right foot um, making the turn. Now, uh, it'll come to the middle of the circle, but here is uh, just a classic uh, place to kind of make a stop. Folks and all throwers, you'll notice his heel does not touch the surface it's a big deal because if you drop your heel at any part of the throw you're going to slow down and you're going to slow your lower body down uh, from moving it's an absolutely critical point he stay this guy is 274 pounds if you cannot stay up on that toe you won't be a successful thrower at least you won't throw as far as ryan will um the other look, look at another part of his throw he's closed off still He's closed off still. 
All his weight is on the ball of that foot, and he's spinning as quickly as he can. Now, what is he kind of thinking through uh, at this point? He's not really doing a lot of thinking. He's done this uh, thousands of times. He's going to drop that left foot down here in his power position to create a block on that left side. Still, he's going to make the swing, um, uh, turning of that foot, and that left foot's going to come down now and block. And all the time, he's going to try to block off that left arm as he comes around. So watch this. Boom. All right, let's get rid of that. And you can see he's he's created a beautiful power position here. Um, and now what's really strange here, we're asking an athlete to go rotational and then at the last minute go linear. In other words, a straight line shot put, right? Uh, incredible athleticism is required in this, okay? So let's have a look, a couple points. Look at that, shoulder square, right? Um, he's in a beautiful power position. He's not down too deep. He's in a kind of a hack squat position. He doesn't need to get down any lower. Um, and now he's going to, uh, he's going to elevate himself by using his, the, his, his core and his legs to lift the shot put and accelerate the shot. The, the biggest key here to, uh, to his, the speed of the shot put is his blocking left side. He's closing the door. Watch this as he comes around now, as, as he kind of makes the final phase of his throw. That is incredible. Look at that. Look at this. What a block. Using or utilizing that toe board to the full extent. He's totally turned over. You know, I mean, his uh, right side is in the direction of the throw. Uh, his shoulders now square and still he still is not totally square. But that shot put is going straight out linearly. Look at that. That's a, an incredible throw. Watch this. Now, what is he um, thinking about now? He's got all that uh, rotational momentum on the shot, and he's accelerating the shot as quickly as he possibly can. He's blocking on the left side. Now there is a recovery phase. You cannot, you know, you move so f quickly across the circle, you have to have a recovery phase. And his recovery phase will be, I'm going to get my right foot to that toe board to uh, literally take that and sandwich it against the uh, toe board in order to save the rest of the throw. So it's, let's watch the next couple of frames here. Watch this. He pushes it all his might. He get, makes contact. He still has a little bit of a rotational um, momentum in his throw, and he'll, he's not going to fight it. He's just going to use it, but he's made his block, and the throw is away, and it lands out at 22 meters, 52 centimeters, an Olympic record and a gold medal for Ryan Krauser of the United States. What an awesome throw and uh, he should be very proud of that and we're, we're really looking forward to his throws of the future. So Ryan Krauser of the United States. Let's watch that throw just one more time. Now emphasizing all those components, big rotational push, or save yourself at the end of the throw and uh, an Olympic gold medal for Ryan Krauser of the United States. Awesome.